Hey there you guys, Moonlight Butterfly Miku back again, playing more Animal Crossing New Leaf. Now, in the last two episodes, we moved here to Jubilee, found out we're becoming the mayor of this town, and set up our potential residence, which temporarily we're sleeping in a tent until we can get our house built. So, right now I just came out of my tent and this male pelican Pete comes and I guess has a message for me. So, let's see what he has to say. <clears throat> Ah, hello there, Mayor. I've got a delivery for you. I already put it in your mailbox, so be sure to check it later. When your mailbox is full, I can't cram any more in there, so don't forget to collect your mail, okay? When you have mail, you'll see a blinking sign like you see now. That's how you'll know. Well, I gotta get moving. I'll see you later. Thank you very much, Pete, for explaining how the mailbox works. Okay, so... So, let's see what's in here. What are you doing? Excuse me. Damn. There's my mail. He's all up in my ass. Like shit. Okay, Pete. Damn. Okay, let's see what the mail says. It says, to Lara, congrats on your newfound mayorhood. To be honest, I was supposed to become the mayor, but one thing led to another, and now it's all up to you. I'm rooting for you. Keep it a secret. Well, that doesn't tell me much. But, okay. Alright. So, in the beginning, when the game started, we were told to go back to the town hall so that Isabel can explain what our duties as mayor actually entails. So, that's where we're going right now, which is right here. There she is. And she told me to sit in the chair in the back. I guess this is my desk and my chair. This is pretty cool. Oh, Mayor Laura! Have you settled in and finished unpacking? All done. Wow, really? You must be really efficient when it comes to moving. My bedroom is completely full of unpacked cardboard boxes and it feels like I moved so long ago. Sorry, please don't tell my brother. I don't let him into my room for just this reason. <clears throat> right. I was going to tell you about the town hall. Okay, for starters, the area where I usually stand is the service counter. It's the hub for all Jubilee info. I provide a variety of services at the counter, such as giving people advice for living in town. I also listen to requests to change the town tune and flag, and I report on citizen satisfaction. However, to get advice or provide input, you'll need to stand at the counter just like everybody else. I can't go bending the rules just because you're the mayor, after all. Now then, moving on to your responsibilities as mayor. But before you can start laying out your vision for Jubilee, you'll need a town development permit. Getting the permit takes a bit of work, but don't worry. I'll help you out. That's what I'm here for. Alright, sounds good. Now I have to get this permit, then we might as well get it. You know, I just love your can-do attitude, Mayor Lara. Well, look, your mayoral, your mayoral, mayoral instincts <laughs> sorry, must be really good because you're already sitting in the mayor's chair. When you want to work on official mayoral business, just sit in that chair and I'll help you out. And come see me when I'm not overly busy so we can get started on your town development permit. Alright then. I will definitely do that. So apparently we need to get this town permit. But in the meantime, before we get started on all of that, where I live I think is a little bit more important than that. So, I'm going to go pay a visit to Tom Nook. He did tell me to go to his place when I got the chance to lay out my bill for paying to build my house. So let's go back to Main Street. See if he's open. He should be open. Where are you, Tom Nook? There he is. Hey. Welcome, welcome. Oh, Laura, yes, yes, welcome. You said that like three times already. Have you finished everything you needed to do to move in? I have, of course, completed running the numbers on your home loan, Laura, yes, yes. Now, let us discuss the cost. You know, Laura, we can't build you a house unless you have all necessary costs covered, hmm? So the down payment is nothing more than a paltry of 10,000 bells. Fine. I'll do it. Very good. 
They only can't break ground on your home until your down payment is received, hmm? But do not worry. No, no. This town is rich in crops and other resources. You'll find it easy to earn money. You can collect fruit, add seashells, and take them to the recycling shop to earn quick cash, yes? Once you've saved a bit, buying a net or fishing rod at the store is a good idea as well. It is indeed. You can use such tools to go forth and catch insects and fish to sell too. An easy path to riches, hmm? Much faster than searching for a low-paying part-time employment, yes? Oh, yes, yes. Now I'm just going to stop here and make a comment on this. If only real life was like that. You just sell stuff to get money instead of having to work. This would be a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful world. I just wanted to point that out. Moving on. So come and see me right away when you saved up 10,000 bells. Good luck, good luck. Alright, Tom Nook, so... Apparently, we need to start selling a lot of stuff so that we can get enough money to pay down on our house. Because I really want some place to live. I don't want to keep living in that damn tent. Thanks much. Thank you, Tom Nook. So, I'm going to have to start selling things. So, this should be, this should be fun. Apparently, I have a lot of fruit in my town, so... I could just collect those and sell them. It's going to take me a while, I can tell. And I may have to do some things off screen before I can actually, you know, get my house, get the full down payment on the house, like selling all this fruit. You see, my town bears pears. The last time I played, I think I mentioned that before, my town bore apples, so it's a little different. But it's still the same. And oh my gosh, my flowers are dying. Oh, we need to get the necessary tools as soon as possible. So like I said, I may be doing a lot of that off screen, you know, and then go back to recording when I actually made the full down payment because it's going to take me a while. It's, it's not, you know, it's not something that's going to happen one, two, three, just like in real life. It takes you a while before you can actually pay off the full loan. So I'm going to be doing that off screen. In the meantime, I'm just going to go back to my tent, but I'm glad we found that out. Oh, we can talk to more neighbors. Blue Bear. Oh, that's a typical name. Hi, I'm Miss Mayor. My name is Blue Bear. It's so cool that we have such a cool mayor. No joke. I do anything to make Jubilee, make sure Jubilee is on the list of hot spots around here. Peach. Peach. You got me mistaken for someone else. I met you before. I forgot her name. Um, what's your name again? Oh, Naomi. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's chat. Why not? What do you think of our town so far, Mayor? It's nice, right? Well, it's going to get even nicer with you looking after our Jubilee. Keep chatting with all of us, too. We'll have advice, requests, and other useful things to tell you. And don't forget Isabel at the town hall. She'll have important advice, too. Hmm, it must be nice to have an assistant, Moolah. Okay, then. Hell yeah. Alright, so... There really isn't much else to do at this moment except start selling things and buying the necessary tools. And once I get all that, I'll start doing what I gotta do and pay down on my house. So I'm gonna go back in my tent for now. This is a rather short video, but hey, we found out what exactly we needed to do. So we're gonna do it. That's exactly what we're gonna do. So I can finally live in a house instead of this shitty tent. Yes. So I'm going to cut it here. And the next time I record, I'm hoping, it's going to, like I said, guys, it's going to take a while, but I'm hoping that I'll have the full 10,000 bells that I can just go pay for the house. I'll have my house and that'll be a whole new episode and that'll be a lot of fun. So please stay tuned for that. That's going to be exciting. I can't wait to have my own house. Yay. <laughs> but until then, I'm going to cut it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe. I swear I cannot get that word. <laughs> I'm a mess. Like, comment, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. You know the drill. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode, which bears to be very exciting. So again, thanks for watching. And until next time, this is Moonlight Butterfly Miku saying bye, guys.